This is a story of compassion. It's a story of two American cities working together to save a child. She was playing in the city in Kananga, playing hide and seek with some of his friends. And he went into a little, uh, a little power station that didn't have any security on it, no door. And he touched something that, and got electrocuted. When I saw his picture, I just knew we had to help him. So I decided right then that whatever we could do, we would do it, get it done. We had made a ski mask to cover the scarring and everything on the plane so people wouldn't stare at him. I just didn't want him to be scared. He was just, it was terrible. He could very easily have been left for dead. Uh, this, this type of injury is usually lethal. He's obviously very bright and I think he's got tremendous potential. Surely there's something that we can do for this little boy. The possibility of, of having the Shriners organization become part of this really lifted it into a different orbit. Uh, we've been treating kids since 1922 in the pediatric burns specialty area. The good news is with just a few surgeries, we'll be able to help him a lot. He's a very, very tough little boy. Uh, you, you can't see it, realizing where he's been, where he's come, and what he faces every day. Deep burns heal by contracture, and so this child has suffered tremendous contracture. He's going to need to come back. The vast majority of the surgery has been performed successfully. When he comes back, they're going to work on on his cheek and they're going to tuck the eye up so that it looks more natural. Even though he does not have an ear, he does have some hearing. He will be able to swallow and he will be able to breathe normally. But we're going to raise some more money and get him back here. About a bank of bucks. There's a lot more that can be done for him and should be done for him and he's almost there. We just, we need to get him through this last surgery and it'll be amazing.